Now I just took the 2 liter bottle out. You can see the dark spots. Those are eggs. You can kind of see the jiggling orange things. Those are the brine shrimp that you want to hatch. Now these brine shrimp are attracted to light. So what I do, turn off any light around, get a small LED flashlight, shine it not quite at the bottom because you'll get some eggs that'll, that'll sink to the bottom. So I prop it up on something. So you wait for it to settle. And what we'll see is that up at the top you'll have all the eggshells floating um, because this was in an air stone you get some that float around for a while I normally wait about five minutes before I start to harvest there you can see the the brine shrimp swimming around in there you'll get a nice accumulation of a lot of brine shrimp near near the light and like I said you can see that there are eggs that are getting stuck to the curve of the of the coke bottle um, once most of your eggs have stopped floating around and have settled out, you'll need a brine shrimp net. This is a very fine, almost silk-like net. Um, some things that are sold as brine shrimp nets you can actually see holes through. This one is, as you can see, it's, it's extremely fine. Um, you'll also need turkey baster. So all you do is stick your turkey baster in to where all your brine shrimp have accumulated and suck them up. Then squirt it through your net, which I can't do. I don't have two hands right now. And what you'll see is, what you'll want to see is at the tip a very orange color accumulate. If you see brown, that means you got too many eggs. Um, you want it to be very orange. And then I normally take a small shot glass and fill it with fresh water and then invert your brine shrimp into the shot glass. And I then use an eyedropper to administer the right amount to the fry. Now, using the scoop from Brine Shrimp Direct, you will make a ton of brine shrimp that you won't use. But, you know, I think it's always better to have too many than not enough. So that, that's been my go-to amount since then. So as you can see, they're all swimming around in there. Now, make sure you don't forget and leave this out. Forget to uh, put it back in with the air stone or your brine shrimp will die and it'll smell awful. That's essentially, as, yeah, as you can see, they're all accumulating near the light. And that's pretty much the long and short of hatching brine shrimp.